Commander, I'm away from the phone. Leave a message. Hey, Opal. It's me, yeah. I just wanted to see how the play date was going. <laughs> well, it, can I just ask you a favor? Can you tell the girls to lay off the tutus? Because I think, I think Trevor's worn enough pink to last a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can I talk to Amanda? Well, I don't understand. I thought that, I thought that, how could she be going to work? I thought she had the day off. I thought Erica gave her the... Okay, thanks. We're not accepting this. Well, that would be rude. I guess I'll have to go over and thank you. No, baby, look, he's just messing with us. Don't even, don't even waste your time. Just take a minute. Don't hurt him. Problem with the vintage? Would you give us a minute? Actually, we're in the middle of a business meeting, and I charge by the hour. It's highly unlikely that David wants to keep that tab running. Oh, he can afford it. Clearly. Amanda. Hey. I called over to Opal's and she said that you went to work and I called over to work and Randy said she hadn't seen you at Fusion, so I... You okay? Fifty-one percent. Yeah. Puts you in charge of the company. But the way the Chandlers work, it basically puts you in charge of this family, too. Is that what you want? Maybe, uh... Maybe this is my chance to make everything right. Put this family back on track. What about JR? No matter how many fights he and Adam have had, it's always been his dream to take over the company. God, they were finally in a good place, and now this happens. We've all had to learn to live with disappointment. Yeah. It's hard to believe that JR could be disappointed in anything after coming so close to dying. Compared to that, everything should be a blessing. That's the part I really don't get. Jared should be enjoying every moment, but he's not. He just, he seems so angry all the time. Look, Adam had to have a reason. Let me know when you figure it out. Yeah. Uh, you know, Adam walking in on us was the best thing that could have ever happened. It forced us to face the truth. We have a connection, JR. There's no point in fighting it anymore. I wish it were that easy. I know you feel bad sneaking around behind Marissa's back, and so do I. You feel bad? Of course I do. I'm not heartless. And Marissa's been really supportive since Adam took off with Brooke, and, you know, once she finds out the real reason he left town, it's going to hurt. Well, she's not going to be the only one. <sighs> My son's gonna get caught in that fall. Well, Emma and I will be there to soften the blow. Besides, AJ... Whoa. Are you feeling all right? Whoa, I just got really dizzy. Yeah, I used to get the spins when I had too much, too. <laughs> no. Whoa. It's... It's non-alcoholic. Do, do you feel okay? Mm -hmm. Never better. Oh, my God. What did you do to me? <laughs> it's over, Annie. The sex, the blackmail, your ridiculous plan to try to get us to team up to take over the family. You're crazy if you think I'd leave my wife for you. I love Marissa. I can't stand to look at you. But you told I me. I told you what you wanted to hear. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You bastard. <gasps> Uh, 
You're pathetic, Annie. It's no wonder my father left you for Brooke. I'm gonna tell. Uh, I'm gonna tell Marissa everything. 